Microsoft Word document. Hi, this is Dr. Robinson, and today I'm doing a demonstration on the Pix Blaster Graphic Embosser. And let me go over the pros of this machine. You can see it in the background. And I have uh, a couple others, and they are incredibly noisy, but I've had them for many years, and so this is just um, improvement that you're going to see in the newer technology. I can actually sit in the room and emboss. And I'm going to show you how to do a graphic in Word today so our students can go ahead and add graphics, tactile graphics. They can emboss this off. They can emboss it off in contracted Braille or uncontracted based on where they are at. Uh, and then in another video, I'll actually show you how to do the math um, in, using Excel or, you know, I may do another program. But anyway, in today's video, we are just going to do Pix Blaster graphic embosser using Tiger software, which is fully accessible to blind people. So they don't need any help with this uh, once it's all set up. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go in the back of the machine and I'm gonna turn it on right now. And you'll hear it warm up. Okay. You can connect this up uh, wirelessly or you can connect it up with a USB. I have it connected with a USB right now because it's just close to my machine uh, and it just makes it easy. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to actually do, let's uh, just say I'm going to make a Christmas card and I'm going to insert it. I am using Office 365. I highly suggest, and it really is pretty critical for blind students, to have Office 365 so they can get all the accessible features, not just doing graphics, uh, math is another big one. I'm going to do Alt N to insert. I'm going to do P to pictures. I'm gonna hit O for online. And truly, the best way to uh, do a graphic is uh, you're gonna type in the word, so I'm gonna type in Christmas tree, and then I'm gonna type in outline. Uh, so then you can get an outline of it. Otherwise, the graphic will become way too cluttered and it will be very difficult uh, for the student to actually understand what it is. And then I'm going to take you to the Tiger menu. On my computer, it's Alt-Y3. It's probably going to be Alt-Y3 or Alt-Y2 for most people who install it using Office 365. Uh, you go into the default menu and you actually set it up and change it. I'm not going to go through that feature right now. I just want to show you how incredible the Pix Blaster uh, graphic embosser is using Tiger software. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Once again, I'm going to go into insert menu and I'm going to insert a picture. I'm trying to remember not to talk when Jaws is talking because of course it really uh, makes it difficult to hear me. Here we go. Alt N, upper ribbon, insert tab, alt followed by N, P, menu, O, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, insert picture, dialog, insert picture, type of clearing, and then press enter to search for image results on C, A, R, I, S, T, M, A, S, Christmas, E, R, E, E, P, O, U, T, L, I, N, E, outline, enter, results list, do not select, insert, pink, lemonade, colon, decorate the tree, but then it's again available, one of 30, to move to an item. Okay, now, if these results found, student is blind, I always tell the kids, just choose the first one. Just choose the first one, because if you do a really good search, and this was a pretty basic one, uh, the first graphic is gonna be good. If you happen to have a sighted person there, fine, they might have a preference for something else, but we're just going to select the first graphic. Space. And you space to select it, and you tap to insert. Insert left there, one right there, button to activate, press space bar. And space again. Space. Document one, group object graphic. Okay, the next thing I always tell kids is you must listen to the size of the graphic that you just inserted. So let's go ahead and adjust this. If you're in a picture, you are going to be going to the picture format. So just understand that every time you add a shape, additional options are going to open up in your menu bar. Let's listen. Leaving menus, upper ribbon, picture tools, picture format tab, alt followed by YJP. And it told me alt followed by YJP, so JP. JP. And the size, and I, you can go to H for height and W for width. I like to go for the full box, so I always hit SZ for size. If you have to tab through this, then you're just going to tab through this to find out what it is. And JAWS will always tell you what the combination of keyboard commands are. Let's do SZ. SZ, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, document one, JPSD, cancel button to activate, press space bar. 
The uh, first thing we want to do, and the students memorize all A very quickly to lock aspect ratio. What that means is as you adjust the height and the width, and you must go to the absolute values in order to understand the size of this picture, uh, it will keep it. So you only have to change one of those dimensions, and I always tell students, go to the largest one. Let's go ahead and Alt-A to lock aspect ratio. And if it's already checked and they do Alt-A, it will say unchecked and they will just hit spacebar to recheck it. So let's see what's going on, Alt-A. So that tells me that it was not checked and I did an Alt-A and it did check it. Now, you can tab around, but I do this often as do the students. And they remember that all E will immediately jump them to their absolute height value. Once again, you can tab around in order to find this. Let's Alt E. Alt E, absolute radio button check to change the selection press up or down arrow. Alt plus E. And tab to listen to the size. Absolute height and combo 8.66 quotes to set the value. Use the arrow key. Okay, so this pretty much takes up the whole page. Now, what are the chances the width is uh, <laughs> just as wide? And we want to go to the largest number once again, so listen to the width. Absolute radio button check to change the selection press up or down arrow. Alt plus B. And it tells you Alt plus B. And I always tell students, memorize those commands because you're going to do a lot of pictures. Absolute width and combo 6.5 quote for value music. Okay, so this is 6.5 and based on let's go to the largest number, let's do that. So that means shift tab back up. Absolute rate, absolute height and combo 8.66 quote for value music. Okay, I want to put a little bit of braille here. Now I'm just going to say something like Merry Christmas, something really, really easy. Of course, you need to gauge how much information you want to put in here. If I uh, want to take up half the page, I know I need to get down to four. Uh, and I always tell students, okay, you know, you have to do the math on this. So I'm just going to hit four on that. Four. And I'm going to tab to make sure the width changes also. Absolute radio button, absolute width, edit combo, three quotes, okay. and use the arrow key. Enter. 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 Group object, graphic, group object, okay. enter one. This photo button. The and next thing I want to do is I want to center that. So I'm going to make sure I escape out of my uh, paste options because when you hit the control key, it actually opens up your layered paste options. Escape, document, escape, document one. And reselect. Group object, comma, picture one, comma, this photo item, no mother. And let's go ahead and tab through and get rid of extra features we do not want. This photo item, no mother is licensed under CC by dash A dash MC graphic group. Okay, and we don't want that because that's going to be, that will not come out correctly and the person you're sending this to, you do not want to add extra information unless it's deleted out. Okay, picture one graphic, picture one image. Okay, and let's go ahead and control E and center it. Center. And uh, I'm thinking we're good to go, so let's go ahead and control N to get to the bottom. Bottom, document one, picture one image. Enter, enter twice. Enter. And I'm going to control L to left align. The line left. And I'm just going to put, uh, and I'm typing this out because I'm going to use the Tiger software in order to translate all this. You do have to save this. It doesn't matter when you forget. It will tell you. So I'm not going to save this first so you can hear the information that you'll get the feedback. And when uh, your words populate and you will see them on your broad display, you can actually just hit tab. This is true in email also. You can just hit tab and it will autofill for you, which is really kind of a nice feature. Uh, let's just keep this nice and simple. I'm going to go ahead and center this also. Center. Okay. Uh, oh, better add an exclamation okay. mark. Okay, so now I'm going to translate this. So let's go ahead and watch. Upper ribbon, home tab, Y3, tiger tab, both followed by Y3. Now, in here, if I have not set this up, I create my profile and I hit C to create my own profile. And I change this to contracted because the people I'm writing this know contracted braille and let's face it, it is much faster to read. So at this point, all I have to do is translate it and that is X. X, leave in menus, translation progress, edit, English unified, colon, translate into braille, dot, 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 type of text, all followed by Y3, C, Y3, X, document, one, dash, word, save this file, file name, file name, edit, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, type of text. Okay, and so it's going to remind me, hey, you've got to save this before you can emboss it. Okay, it's fine. That's a, that's a great name. If I wanted to change it, I could type in something different right now, but I'm just going to hit enter. Enter. Document one. And it saves, and it's going to translate. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, underline TGR, dot, dot, dash, compatibility mode. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, to underline TGR, dot, dot, dash, compatibility mode, dash, word. And that is how you do uh, this part of the uh, graphic. And now let's go ahead and emboss this off. All you have to do is control P. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Menu. Leave a menu. Quick button to activate presenter. Alt followed by FTP. Now, if you haven't checked your default, do make sure you tab to check to make sure it's the APH Pix Blaster. I already know it is because I've already used this several times. Let's go ahead and enter. Enter. Merry Christmas and happy new year to everyone. Like DRL.com. Okay. 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 And I could go ahead and this is the down button, this is the up button. I actually don't need to do that because it actually pulls it out at the perfect distance. And when you rip it off, you want to rip it, is what I tell the kids, in a V. Don't try to fold it up or you'll actually rip the paper. So I'm going to rip it in a V. That means I'm placing my hand in the middle of the paper and I'm pulling out from the left hand side. And it rips perfectly off. And look at that great graphic. Actually, I don't know if you can see that yet because <laughs> I'm using it on my camera and I'll know in just a moment. Uh, anyway, so there's the really cool graphic. It reads perfectly uh, in the braille. You can go ahead and fold this. And of course, you can write the uh, person's name on that and just send that off. Um, and this is more for book materials and any materials that teachers need to send students or if students just want to emboss off work and graphics themselves to read right at home. And that is how you use the Pix Blaster Braille Embosser with Tiger software. Thank you.